Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Battletech, where we're here in all the way to do a contract. I've totally forgotten what it is, so I guess we'll just find out when we go launch contract here. And of course, Lady St. Charles' jump ship, Stranger this Moon, is talking to us. She list doesn't appear in any of my maps, which leads to more. Oh, that's right. We're not actually on Al. Well, we're not going to Alloway. We're leaving an additional place here. I forgot about that. We got like a story mission. Yeah, we're going to Uncharted Space. That's right. Okay. Yep. And so, yeah, they used a pirate point, right? I remember that. So, Savior can serve the job ahead, guys. It's fine. Pay attention. We have a job to discuss. I totally don't remember this at all. So, all right. This is the pirate moon. That's right. The pirate queen is here with her moon and her jump ship stuff. That's right. Our crash site is back in the middle of a pirate stronghold. Right. Okay, and the Bandit Queen called Grim Sybil. Which is a great name, by the way. Yeah, Grim Sybil is supposed to be scary, and, you know, then we have... Okay, so Light Battle Mike activity, what are we talking about? Because I've totally forgotten. I have service scans going for what data I do have is expect pirates to be able to fill a full lance of Light Battle Max. I don't remember what a lance consists of. I think a lance is four. I think we field a full lance of four. I think that's right. Okay, and then Grim Sybil's mech on top of that. Okay, so I never heard of her. What do you have on her? What does she do? Got at least a dozen pirate gangs operating on her banner. She must have something going for her. You can find her Lady Paul Trevelyan, the pilot queen of the Tortuga Dominions. I have a personal connection to Lady Death. Okay. And mech first call signs any better? Exactly. That's what we said before, I think. No, they're not. Okay. So, yeah, 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 so they had a big falling out, shit happened, Sybil's bad, and we just need to go in, I think. Right, right, so, yeah, we, we get Samir in. She can approach the derelict once we take down the radar towers. Okay. And then, yeah, then they get the 200-year-old wreck falling out line again. Which, uh, they can totally do it. Jorth, hope you're right. All right. Okay, good hunting. Let's go. Okay, so it auto filled. I'm not gonna take myself. Well, bulwark could be good here. Crease already has. He already has evasive movement. I kind of want to get him sensor lock. So if he's gonna be in the tiny mech, the tiny mech being our spotter for the big guns to come in seems like a really good idea, right? So if we get him sensor lock as well as evasive, he can basically jump in ping somebody, jump out, and the rest of these guys hit him. Theoretically. Alright, so I think we're good, right? I don't think I need to be in there. Kind of tempted, but I really want to get Ceremal leveled up. I want to get all these guys leveled up. I want everybody here leveled up. And the only way we do that is if I stay on the sidelines. I mean, I should probably level up myself too, but... I want to at least get these guys one skill. Doesn't have to be something. Doesn't have to be a lot. But it has to be something. Uh, so I think the spider's fine. What does the spider have? Um, let's see. You've got just a medium laser. So I think this is the one with the two lasers. Doesn't really matter, right? He's a scout. Doesn't really matter. He's not going to be able to open much damage anyway. But 320 armor versus... I can't tell. Oh, this is... Uh, 280. Yeah, the spider is definitely the better push here. Okay, I think I've done this before. I think I've looked at this exact setup before. I keep comparing. You know, we should probably just sell the locust. We will... I'll try to remember to do that after this mission. We will sell this locust. Because otherwise, it's just... Well, assuming that we actually have four mechs at the end of it. But I would like to have a medium mech at the end of this. I don't know if that's going to be possible at all, but we'll see. One and a half skulls. I think we can do this. Without any injuries. No injuries is my goal here. Let's see if we can do it. We can get... I mean, if we have... Um, like a missing arm or something on one of the mechs, I'm totally okay with that. It's not ideal, of course. But I can live with it. But I'd really, really prefer... No injuries on any of our pilots. I'm not for sure what you're doing on that. We're going to find that moon. We had enough surprises today. You are right about that. 
Why did the loading icon stop moving? Okay, it's ticking. It's just slow. All right. Okay, so we just destroy the radar towers. I remember that being a fairly simple maneuver. I don't think there was... There was, like, a couple of tanks throwing stuff at us, right? But the big deal was when... Um, when we proceeded the Argo crash sites, that's when the mechs came out and just really started to play. So we'll see. Hey, Rome World. Playing that in a couple of days. Let's go. Command interface initiated. Okay. Welcome back to this commander. It's everybody as charming as you'd expect a pirate occupied moon to be. Right. Also a vacuum, so we have to watch that heat. I'm right. Grim Sybil's radar station just ahead. Defense appear to be limited to turrets and ground vehicles for the time being, at least. The Grim Sybil is at least one less of battle mechs to be ready for anything. After the planet's turrets, you find your way to the base. They pack a nasty punch, so also essential lock your mechs. Aim for the turret generators, that'll be the fastest way to neutralize threat. Right, yes, we should do that. Out of the pirate's radar station, radar, radar station are down. You will clear proceed to the Arco. Good hunting. All right, let's do it. Okay. So, let's scout about for a bit and see exactly what we need to do here. So, we have... Right, turret generator here. Doesn't look too bad. Turret generator way over there. That does look difficult to get to. Remember last time we did this, we kind of circled around, right? And there were no mechs. I think there were just the tanks. So, Kreese is probably not going to be able to do much aside from spot. And, of course, he doesn't have sensor lock, so it's not going to matter. Though, as long as he gets an eye on them, I think that means we can use him as basically a proxy to hit the turret generator, maybe? So, it doesn't really matter which direction we go. Like, there's a turret here. I see you there. You're not popped yet, but I know you're a turret. I think there's also a couple of turrets around here, but I forget exactly where they were. Alright, so I don't see a good way to come in here. We, I think we just jumped, right? Yeah, probably just jump in here, shoot this thing. Do some long-range missiles as well if we can, but really not going to matter too much. Let's just go. Move out there, crease. Enemy contact, not surprising. Bunch of turrets out in the wild. No one else singing this. Wake up, you f idiots. We've got company. Yeah, that is a lot of turrets. Giant battle mechs. We can't fight against. Any more objections? Good. Get out there and fight. Okay, so looks like we've got a tank there. Turret there, turret there. Looks like another turret there. No, that's a turret generator. All right, so if I sprint over here, they probably can't hit me, but they can probably center lock and then throw a lot of stuff at me. There's no way we're hitting them this turn. Yeah, I think we just go as far and as fast as we can. I think there's it for everybody. <laughs> Though, far and fast does not apply to some of these mechs. It's all right. Basically, just move out there. All right, guys. What does he got for me? Kind of surprised they didn't fire at me. All right, Crease. I mean, if you could fire at these guys, that'd be great, but I don't think you really can, can you? Moving up close to a turret does not seem like a wise idea, though... Maybe it is? What does this turret do? It's a light laser turret. You've got... Two medium lasers and machine guns on you. Interesting. I could open fire on you, but that is not the fast and easy way to take care of these guys. I don't want to do that. I think what I want to do... So machine gun turret means that I do not want to get in close. Because the machine guns can tear us up. Not very effectively, but they can totally do it. Um, and the medium lasers means I want to kind of stay out of their range. Now there's this turret. This is a also a light laser turret. Okay. Maybe what we do with this guy is you just basically run. We'll actually put you on sprint. Yeah, and then you can go like all the way over here. And maybe then you can jump next turn into the base. I don't think he's going to get hit. He might get sensor locked, but I don't think so. I'm willing to take the risk. But he basically sprinted into position there. You have an enemy fight. Let's see what happens. Or enemy move, rather. 
Probably, yeah, we got some tanks moving in. Lasers are not necessarily great against tanks, but I'm willing to take my chances here. All right, might be able to get a shot on... It looks like maybe a shot on the turret generator. Maybe? I guess we'll find out. And with the long range missiles, I'm hoping so. Radar station, oh, the actual radar station. I mean, that's good too. Oh, there's a laser turret right over there, okay. So I can hit the radar station, but I cannot hit the turret generator. The radar station is our primary target. Let's do it. Okay, not too bad. They get a turn, who knows what they're doing. Driving tanks around, my guess would be. Yep, there goes the tank right there. We need to take out those tanks, obviously. All right, Blue Foxy, let's see what you can do. You look like you can do the same thing. You can hit the radar. Let's do it. And maybe Kreese can just take out the... her generator by himself, maybe? Yeah, go for Raider Station, bravo. Orange Missiles, AC-5, let's go. I don't have very much ammo on this thing at all, do I? Not for the AC-5, that kind of sucks. Um, you know what, just Long Range Missiles. Okay, Venom, let's see what you can do. You are all the way back here, so you can't do shit. I mean, you might be able to... Yeah, okay, you, you can get a shot in. Okay. Only two ticks of evade, unfortunately, but that's just a shame for everybody, it looks like. So, you get the AC5. 45 damage, that is not going to cut it. So, I think instead you just brace. Want to save the AC5 for the tanks. Alright, speaking of which, we got some tanks coming in. Firing on Crease, because of course you will. Alright, couple hits. Oh, Shazbot. Freaking head hit. The luck, man. The freaking luck. So he's injured. That sucks. Funny it zooms in on me when it's enemy turn. I want to see the bad guys moving. Looks like most of them are looping around the left hand side here. They're all going after Crease. Okay, that was lucky anyway. Maybe I should pull Crease back. I kind of want to focus him on the... Okay, the laser turret missed. That's good. But another tick of evasion gone. Yeah, if he jumps, that might be pretty good. Okay, it's Crease's turn. Let's see if he can jump. He can jump. He can jump right up here. And then he'll be able to hit the turret generator. And that's exactly what he should do. Okay. Yeah, hit that turret generator. I mean, you only have the two things, but... I think just being here is good, because I think that makes it so that... The other guys can use your sensors to be able to hit stuff. Oh, man, another evade. On. Oh, I think, I think they use sensor lock on there? That's very unclear. Yeah, we can totally... Okay, good, good, good. So, yeah, the Vindicator, I think. That's a good idea. Move the Vindicator over here. Use the LRM. Probably not the PPC, because that's probably not an option. All right. We want to take out the generator. There you go. Fire everything you got. It's going to take time. Gonna take time. It might take all of our effort to get there. Well, we don't have any tanks to fight yet, right? Not yet. Getting there, though. All right, we get... If we don't go in the valley, we might be in a better spot. Let's go up top. My thinking is that... Um, well, we just learned that if you have a height advantage, you get a higher chance to hit. This blue foxy might be a little bit of a target here, but... If the turret gets taken out, then I don't care. I have a really good chance to hit with the AC-5. Tempting. 
Now uh, this should do four times five. It's twenty damage. And now I'm gonna I'm gonna use Macy five. There you go. Church generator's down. That'll help. All right, now we just got the other turret generator on the other side, and then the actual, of course, radar station. Okay, Venom, up to you, my dude. So, don't think the radar station has very much left, but you have to hit it with your AC-5 or lasers, which is not going to work. No, just, uh, just stand there and brace. Probably should have braced this guy. Sorry about that, Blue Foxy. Yeah, so he's still getting lit, still getting LRMs on him. Got to move him out of there. He he did a valuable service there, I think. Right, because otherwise we wouldn't have had eyes on that turret generator. But he's got to get out of there now. Uh, what am I waiting for? Probably some guys to move around. Yeah, there we go. Okay, these tanks are dropping LRMs like crazy. I did not realize these are LRM tanks. Okay, some lasers from a turret that I thought for sure was wiped out, but I guess that's using the other turret generator. Okay, Chris, you got it out of there. Got to somehow get over here. Can't see that yet. I think you definitely jump. Down here, maybe? And jump down here, but I don't want you in line of sight of that turret. And we're going to have to do that eventually jump over here dangerous all hell though there's a tank right there yeah i really don't want you being a target so jump over here not ideal but maybe you just stay back for now and brace definitely brace all right then the bad guys get to move they might go after him they might go after somebody else I make somebody else a target, though. All right, so Vindicator. You could probably hit the laser, or the, sorry, the radar. Yeah, looks like you can hit the radar from there and be a target. I'm kind of okay with. You could also jump over here and stand in front of him. But then you can't hit the radar tower, huh? Here you can hit the radar tower. Basically, your job is to protect Crease for a little while. So, hit this laser tower with basically everything you got. PPC totally whiffed. The wrong thing. Just down too low, I guess. Enemy turn, so tanks are moving around. Probably trying to get another signal on so let's see what we can do here i move you nope jump does not work too well all right coming over here and look this way i think with the lrm we should be able to take out the the radar yeah yeah especially with the ac5 well that's, that's only like one hit one shot yeah. Yeah, either one of these two hitting. Well, okay. The LRM won't kill it, but the AC-5 hitting it. There we go. It's gone. Laser's not even necessary. One Raider Tower down. Okay. Alright, then Venom. Maybe... Maybe you need to go up top, right? So... Come over here. Kind of worried about these LRM tanks, but maybe if I like jump Venom up top, he can do some laser work in medium range. Actually, you can do yeah, you can fire all all these guys right now. Do it. Okay, that was a big old whiff on two of those. Did destroy some walls. I guess that's important. All right, we got some guys coming in. Firing on Venom, which I'm actually okay with. Better than firing on Crease. 
Not by much, but by a little bit. Looks like they're going to fire all on Venom, maybe? Maybe not. Oh, Blue Foxy gets hit directly with the laser. Fortunately, he has a lot of armor, so it's not too bad. Next. Okay, Venom gets hit again. That's almost a lot of direct hits. That sucks. Blue Foxy gets hit again by the turret this time. Okay, so the that means that there must have been a tank that did the laser shot. Must have been. I can move you pretty far over. I think what I want to do... I want sight on this turret generator. The sooner we take it out, the better. I think what we do is we basically run for it. I'm going to have you sprint again. I'm going to run like all the way down here. Should give you a lot of evade. It's going to make you a little unsteady. Also give you time to get your heat pushed out there. Okay, so there you go. There's rough terrain, isn't it? Yeah, it's rough terrain. That sucks. Didn't even realize that. So it makes him a little unsteady. That's unfortunate. Okay. Give me Venom here. Let's see if we can get him up. Can't quite. Not moved up far enough. All right, so can't do that. Ceremal, I can get you to hit the radar tower, and that's fine, but that's not really what I'm going to do today. I want to hit these tanks. They're staying back, and that's the wise thing to do. We've got to press the attack here. Otherwise, we're going to be in bad shape. So can I jump you? Nope, I can't jump you into there. Blue Foxy's way too far back. And we could just destroy this turret. It is annoying, but the tanks on the back line are more annoying. So that we might get a good shot. Radar tower we don't care about anymore. Um, do you have... You don't have bulwark. You have... No. Right, you don't actually have any abilities, do you? Okay. So we definitely need to move you. Move you over here. Basic idea being that we don't want to be in range of that same blue laser that hit us before. That's pretty much a large laser, probably mounted on a tank. Come over here. It gives you two pips of evasion. Maybe we take this guy out. Sure him with everything you got. There you go. Turret destroyed. Okay, so now if the tanks want to do damage, they have to show themselves. Well, I mean, I guess they could fire on Crease. Hopefully they don't realize that yet. Um, turn? Not my turn. Bad guys are going. There we go. Now it's my turn. Okay. Fire on the radar tower, but that's less important. I don't want to get into range here. I can't get into there. Come over here, I guess. Fire a little bit. Fire just the PPC on the radar tower. Might not hit, but that's okay. Actually, you know what? The lower arm might help too. What the hell? There you go. That's some solid damage on that radar tower. Venom tactics. I would love for you to get up here, but you can't. The hell's the problem? I gotta sprint you or something? There we go. I sprint you over here, then you get there next turn. I'm good with that. Alright, let's see what the tanks do. They've got to move to be able to get a line of sight. That's exactly what they're doing. I don't even have to go up top to get one of these tanks next turn. Should be able to see if we run this corner. Okay, looks like we're doing good so far. Priest, I would love it if you get line of sight on this turret generator so we can get LRM that way. Oh, you can jump this far. That is beautiful, and I love you. Um, so, I would love it if you didn't get hit by everything under the sun that way. Ah, uh, it's gonna be tight. Okay, here we go, here we go. Alright. That will give you line of sight. Got a lot of heat that way, though. Heat generator generation looks a little rough. 
So I think, yeah, we are not going to overheat. I think instead we just brace in the turn here. I think we're standing in fire. I think it's the problem. You just brace here. Oh, you know what it is. You're standing right where the... <laughs> You're standing right at the burning radar tower we're about to destroy. All right. Well, now that your line of sight makes it so the turret generator is gettable, we should be able to target... Yeah, now we can target it. Okay, good, good, good. Also like to target the... Bulldog tank that's right over here. See what we can do about that. So let's see. I can move Ceremal right up here. PPC is probably a better odds of taking out. I think it might be better. That's only a two move. Can I do better? You would jump here, and that's three ticks of evade. I like that better. Now I want to get sideswiped here. He is going to be a target. I think we definitely Vigilance. And then try to hit this thing. Um, it's going to be real tight. Yeah, overheat alert, unfortunately. Let's just do LRMs. Not going to be able to take it out, unfortunately. Still, though. Slight damage to it. It's improving over nothing. Okay, so the tanks get to move. I kind of want to hit this this other tank, but Let's see what we can do. Venom. You can come around this side and just shoot this guy. You have very little in the way of heat, and I'm okay with that. Standing on rough terrain right now, so let's get rid of that. Should be able to just hit this guy. AC5 should do it. Yeah, it's just a striker. I mean, I'll hit him with everything. What the hell? Probably not this. Not these two because 70% is a little low. Oh, it's only 65% here. I read that wrong. I thought that was 85. So we'll drop the 65s. Get the 70s and the 85 up. See if that does anything. Oh, there you go. Okay. Easily done. I thought the AC5 would do it. I was just hedging my bets. My story. Can't prove me wrong. All right. Elrum's not going to do shit against a tank. It's just not going to happen. Just accept it. I can jump, but that's really not going to help. Well, it gives me more evade, I guess. Do I need it? I have no idea. Yeah, it's long-range missiles only. That's okay. But I do want to take out this turret. I think Blue Fox can do it, maybe? Nope. Can't do it. Well... Maybe, if the AC5 hits. Yeah, go ahead, try it. That was a hit. Hit something. Oh, that is so close. You know what, if Kreese takes it, I'm pretty sure if Kreese takes it, take a shot, he will be, he'll be able to do it. Ooh, that's a lot of hits on Sermal. I did not like that. Actually, it was less hits than I thought it was. Gotta credit that evade, man. So I think everyone else now gets a shot on him because they all have our LRMs. Yeah, so this is why we put him on bulwark, basically, or guard, or whatever it was. Okay, that wasn't as many shots as I thought. Okay, Kreese does, does get to go. Okay, Kreese. You can take out this turret. You can totally do it, man. Um, Tank's right there, which I'm not a fan of, but... But the heat generation kind of sucks. You stand... No, you can't... Uh, I was thinking maybe he could go over and punch it, but I don't think that's actually something you can do. i go, like, all the way over here, but then I can't do anything. Um, Because that would put him out of line of sight of everybody. And I think him walking into it would actually destroy it, but I don't know that for sure. I would rather he turn around so he doesn't get hit in the back is definitely going to happen if we're not careful. Um, there's no, no real good spot. He's going to be a target no matter what. He could just run. We could actually put him on reserve. We don't need to use him right now. Yeah, let's reserve him right now. Because I'd rather we destroy the turret with somebody else first. Okay, so Thermal's Evasion is gone. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, Ceremal can do this. Or, better yet, someone who's not in line of sight. You could probably do it right now. 
Yeah, I think you just opened fire on the turret generator. With everything you got, we'll destroy it. Probably don't need to do everything you got, but just to be on the safe side. Okay, good. That turret generator is gone, so the turrets are no longer an issue. Now we just have the tanks. Tanks are definitely an issue. Okay, but now Kreese can move, because we don't need him there anymore. He can do whatever he likes. Getting him the hell out of dodge is not a bad idea. So, let's get out of here. Go, say, over this way. A lot of heat. Shit. Okay. Maybe... Maybe he just stays where he is and lets the heat dissipate. Yeah, it's not ideal, but... Okay. Alright. Thermal, what are you gonna do? Uh, PPC is okay for taking out tanks. You standing right there is gonna just invite problems, though. I could try jumping up, and then it looks like I get a hit, maybe, on one of these tanks, which I'm okay with. Let's do it. Also some evade, which I like. There's a lot of tanks there. All right. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, it's like a decent hit on some scorpions. Or we go for the radar station. No, let's take care of the tanks first. So, here we have a really good chance. Let's just... Keep our heat generation in mind. Auto cannon is probably the only one we care about, but just in case. I don't know. The auto cannon is probably going to be the only thing that really does damage. Let's just do that. There you go. Guy popped like a balloon. All right, not too shabby. Not too shabby. Let's see what else we can do here. There is this guy right here in front of you. Could walk up to him and punch him. The problem with that is it opens me up to attack with the two tanks that are standing right there. So as tempting as that is, I'm not going to do it. Alright, I think you just opened fire on this guy. He's standing right where you are. EPC does a lot of heat. Long range missile is not going to do shit. But he is just within PPC range. Worried about standing out in the middle of the open. Okay, so we'll do vigilance first. That way, he doesn't take too much damage just by standing there. And then PPC right to his face. Oh, really? Shoot. Does better on mechs than it does on tanks, unfortunately. He's going to come right up to us and say hello. Yep, that's machine guns, lasers, the works. Alright. Yeah, yeah, auto cannons are probably better for taking out tanks. Okay, well, we have this guy up here that can do auto cannons. It's the Venom's up here for. Unfortunately, sorry, Sarah Muller, you're going to be taking a lot of hits. That's why we, that's why we vigilance you, though. Okay, Crease. Your heat generation is looking a little better. I really don't know if this is going to work. What I'm thinking is we walk like... We don't have to walk that far. We could actually just do it from here, but... We're not going to get any evade points this way, are we? Two from here... Three if I go over here. All right, sure, we'll try this. I don't know if laser is going to really work against the tank. Auto cannon seemed to be a much better choice, but you know what? I'll try it. Oh, all right, sure, that just worked. All right, good. <laughs> Lasers totally work against tanks. I don't know why I didn't think so. Okay, Ceramol. There are a couple of tanks right here. Do your PPC is ship, your laser might be able to do it. If your laser could actually get into range effect here. Let's see if I jump you like up here. That'll give you a height advantage. A lot of heat to do that. So you're not going to be able to use your PPC. Hoping you'll be able to use your medium laser. Yes, you can. Okay. Just your medium laser. I don't know if it's going to work, but it's worth a shot. Let's try it. Uh, that is not a good result there. I didn't uh, didn't put guard on, so that's going to be a problem. Okay, there's only two tanks left. Shouldn't be too bad. Blue Foxy, you're all the way in the back, man. What are you thinking? Um, didn't move you. It's my fault. You can jump over here, and you can be the target for a little bit. 
And since you have an auto cannon, that might even work. There you go. Get some evade up. Auto cannons away. You probably don't need anything else but your auto cannons for this. There you go. All right, Venom. You were actually in a really good spot. If you want to be in a slightly better, actually, you're probably in an excellent spot right now. You probably don't need to move at all, do you? Yeah, 85% chance to hit the striker. Yeah, you go for that immediately. There you go. No problems. All right, now we just got to take out the radar and we're set. Probably want to move Crease out of the way. Radar's probably not going to fall on him, but, you know, he'd prefer that if that was more definite. Let's just come down here. Next to uh, Blue Foxy, right? There you go. Let's brace you. Then everybody else can fire on the auto cannon. Uh, so you need to turn, my dude. Go this way. Thank you. And, yeah, light that thing up. Stop for a second there. That was going to miss. I was going to be a little upset. Um, Blue Foxy, you do the same thing. You turn around. And you open fire on this thing. I think... This should kill it. Let's drop the EC5. I want to reserve some ammo. It means you have to do it one more time, but I'm kind of okay with that. Um, then you just hit it from here. Your AC5, which you have plenty of. There you go. And it comes crumbling down. Okay, anti-aircraft guns are down. Get to the crash site and secure the area. Roger that. I don't know why we're zooming in on the crash radar tower, but okay. All right. Crease, I'm sorry you got injured. We'll take care of your injuries eventually. Okay, I'm just looking for a way in. There it is. Probably the only way in, too. Okay. You're going to be moving the fastest. But if I remember from the last time we did there, so there's nobody there until we go into the action zone, so... Not even that big of a deal. You need to get off your mountain here. Over that way. This is going to give us time to recover some of our heat, so that's good too. You come over here. And you're going to have to jump next turn. No way off of this rock, apparently. There's no way a mech warrior can go. Alright, we could go all the way in there, but we're not going to do that. Instead, we're just going to back up over here. I don't think there's any re good reason why he would want to go in that that hot zone. He's just going to get picked off. We're not careful. We got to be careful. Right, isn't this the mission where we lost our first recruit? We don't want to do that again. Okay, so how about you just stay there for now? Okay, we're going to move these guys in nice and slow. Not go into the action zone yet. We don't have to. Okay. So, I mean, you can stand, like, right here, say. Not even rough terrain, I don't think. I mean, you went through rough terrain, so that does mean you're affected by it. But then you just stay there. All right, and then we start going through here. I think the bad guys came from this direction last time. That might still hold true. It might be totally different. I have no idea. So, let's try to hold some kind of cover, I guess. I have no idea what we're doing. Go into the action zone. I mean, we might all have to go in. Might not activate until Crease does it, or it could be that three guys here is enough at the end of the turn. See? Oh, that was... That was Crease, wasn't it? Damn it. Okay. We move Crease in the back. Or surprisingly... Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, Seymour's got a clear approach to the Jerelec, she's coming in hot. And she dropped her guys out way out there. Not what I remember happening last time. Okay. Brace. Um, yeah, come up here. We're gonna get guys coming from this direction. Thank. 
And you can't brace. All right. Okay, your team is clear to enter. There goes Farah. All right, people, you know what to do. Marines, clear the ship of pirates. Okay. With pleasure, Dr. Marad. We might get a turn here to do something nice. That is in set up um, something. So likely going to come from here, right? Because this is the actual crash ship, and she's been using this as a base. So somewhere around here she comes out, and I totally forget where. Be nice to set up like a kind of a crossfire here. So Priest should not be part of that, I don't think. At least not as much. Maybe if they like come up here. Might be able to get some shots off, but you're basically gonna just be poking her. It's not gonna be oh, okay, we have an enemy contact already. Okay, I don't know if those are mechs or not, so I guess we'll find out. You wanna come over oh, sorry, this way. As much sprinting as possible. I do not want to take you through rough terrain, so I'm just gonna come up to here, look that direction, and I can't do anything else. All right, oh, because we're also sprinting, huh? Yeah, this guy's gone and blocked my way, so I'll just go jump over here, maybe. Okay, we have lots of contacts. That's unfortunate. Fortunately, we're guarded, but let's see. Okay, yep, it's Mech. Hello, Mech. Went and tried to hit Ceramol. That's not surprising. All right, well, let's try to just get this guy. Do I have any shots here? No, I have no shots with Crease. All right, let's reserve him then, because I don't want to use him right now. Force them to come to us. Come to us. Oh, look at that. They came to us. Jenner. Big ol' hits on Venom. That Jenner's, like, in really bad shape, though, so... Right? It's not even full health, so that's not too shabby. Okay, Ceramol. Let's see what we can do, man. Let's see if we can get some revenge. There's a Jenner there. Commando there. Mm, looks like we'll get some direct shots on the Jenner if we stand, like, right back here. Yeah, that'll be good. Yeah, yeah, let's take out the Jenner if we can. That's... That'll give me two ticks right there. Be in range of a lot of stuff, but... Oh, the PPC is more of a sniper, isn't it? What we want to actually do is come up... Mm-hmm. No real height advantage I can get, is there? I stand over here, maybe, but I can't. Standing back here, I don't get much in the way of movement here. Let's see. You're staying there. Ooh, Foxy, what can you do? You can come in. That's a lot of rough terrain to go through. You can jump over it. And then it looks like I get a straight shot. Nope. No. Okay, there we go. Straight shot on the Jenner. Not so much on the commando, but that is three points of evade. Uh, if I turn these on... Yeah, there we go. Okay, then yeah, then I'm in range for all those. Okay, let's do it. I'd be able to do a called shot here. I'll be doing that very often. If I can get a called shot on, say, the Jenner... 33% with... Let's see, I think we have a chance to do this. Let's try it. He has a lot of evade on him, though. Yeah, mostly we just want to strip away. Unlikely, isn't it? We don't do a called shot. I think maybe instead... I have Vigilance... And all I do is try to strip away either his evade, or since the commando has less, well, not very likely to him. More likely to hit the walls. Yeah, yeah, I think we just do this. Okay, the, the call shots seem to negate. Him didn't negate his dodge. Is that true? 
Into the Jenner. Yeah, look at that. The look at that improvement. Okay, why not? We'll try this. Okay. Well, dropped his evade at the very least. More guys coming in. Scorpion. All right, just a tank. Big ol' whiff, thank goodness. Okay. Um, let's see. So in your Vindicator, you should be able to get a good solid hit if we can strip away more of his evade. So, we can come in, like, right over here. Not very far, but... Yeah, I think it's fine. Come over here. All you're gonna do is gradually get away that evade. I don't care that it missed. All I care about is that one tick went away. If we can do another called shot, that'd be great. We have mechs coming in, but as long as we don't let them surround us, we should be okay. Ceremony, you can come in... Right here. Get a good shot. Or you can stay exactly where you are. We boost up Vigilance. We're gonna use up a lot of our resolve. How much resolve do we have? Or 40%. It's funny. I think this is supposed to be percentage marks then. It's gonna cost a bit to stand exactly where we are, but maybe that's okay. And I'd rather move. Like jump over, say, here. It's gonna take a lot of hits if I do that. He hasn't taken very many any hits. Maybe that's okay. Maybe that's okay. Come over here. I mean, you can always jump back, right? Theoretically. Throw everything at this guy. It's a lot of heat, I know. We have a pretty good chance to take this guy. Let's let's try it. In fact, maybe even just we get the PPC. Maybe we do it with this. I do a precision strike on you. Yeah, 85% chance with everything, theoretically, to hit you. Let's try it. Okay, I mean, he's definitely hurt. He got knocked down. That's great. Not what I intended, but it totally worked out. Now just the commando and who's ever back there. Alright, Ceremal. You come up here and see if you can take out the commando. Looks like this might be your move. Forty percent. Don't love it. I guess he does still have the ticks of evade on it, doesn't he? Don't love it. Right, just the PPC. Yeah, big ol' whiff. Okay, that's fine. Doctor Moran. The pirates have Alpha Squad pinned down in the Argo's main hallway. Bravo Squad, Bravo Squad is holding the door to engineering, but you better hurry up. Commando's Sergeant? running for it. Talk Safe. to me. Alright, hitting the Jenner is probably a good call. We can probably do it from here. Don't even need to do that much. Um... I think just the medium laser and the SRM is probably good enough. We don't even need to call it shot. Can I not hit him for some reason? Why can't I hit him? Oh, because I was trying to do called shot there for a minute. Yeah, that's not going to work. Um, or I can do the scorpion. Probably not a bad idea. Yeah, let's see if we can take the scorpion out. There you go. One of the tanks gone. Um, let's see, Loka's coming up. I haven't touched him yet. He doesn't have full armor, so he should be easier to take out, theoretically. Wow, big giant whiffs there. The missiles seem to go out of the way to go around him. That was great. All right, Crease. This guy has four freaking ticks on him. To get these gone would be better if we had a central lock, of course. Oh, we have his basic movement. 
So, I mean, you're already hurt, so doing too much here would be pretty bad. I'm right up to him, but then he's likely to come over and punch us. That's a pretty bad idea. We could shoot the Jenner. Probably not likely to land a killing blow, but you know what? It might be worth taking out. If you can do it. That's hard to say. Um, sure. Go for the torso shot there. No. Got injured. He might still be able to get up. I think he has one more injury before he dies. Guy over here, what are you going to do? Oh, it's a tank. Okay, I'm less worried. There's probably a laser tank. I forget what the galleon is. Yep, that is a laser tank. Okay. Still not as worried as I probably should be. So Venom could probably take him. Venom can take the tank, right? Venom can't see the tank right now. Weird. I thought for sure Venom would be able to see the tank. Can't. There's also an overheat alert. That's a problem. We can't jump out again. What you can do, though, is move. Move right over here. That's not fantastic, because this guy will be able to come over to you and punch you. You only get one evade by doing that, too. But you don't get any evade by staying where you are. Maybe we just tank it. Look over this direction. And you don't get a shot on the tank at all. Okay, we'll go for the go for the Jenner. Vigilance up, because you're going to need it, because you can't do anything else. You definitely can't fire everything. That'd be crazy talk. But we can fire the... Let's say let's fire the ones 80%. Maybe not the AC-5. AC-5 doesn't matter. Let's do the AC-5. Uh, obviously, you tried to do a call shot there on the Jenner. On the core, rather. There you go. Jenner torso destroyed. Jenner's gone. Okay, Ceramol. PPC, I'm not wild about you hitting this thing. You can come, like, back here. And you can't look in the right direction. Do this, though. I think maybe you back up. Because you're better at a distance, especially with your PPC. So I'm going to use lasers right now. So medium laser, 55%. Well, 75 on there. You know what? Try to hit the Galleon. Big ol' whiff on the Galleon. That wasn't even close. Dr. Murad, what's happening in there? Come in, Doctor. A little busy. The pirates are dead. But so are half of my engineers. It's an unholy mess in here. Bodies everywhere. Can you get the ship flying again? I need an update. Look, do you want me to talk or do you want me to fix the damn ship? You do your job, I'll do mine. Yeah, I think what we're going to do is come right up to this guy and use an auto cannon point blank. Might not be the best idea in the world, but 45% chance of working. Bad. Lasers can take this guy out. I'm just worried about our heat. Okay, there we go. There we go. That worked. Also kind of worried that the command is going to come over and try to punch us. Nope, he decided to walk away. It's only a walk. It's not as fast as I would expect him to be going. He was trying to get away from us. It's what, a two evade move, maybe? Firing on Blackjack. Okay. Trying to flank a little bit there. Kind of makes sense. We lost all the evasion for the Blackjack, though. It's only one move for the Locust. Okay, we're one, uh, one of eight for Locust. So, let's see if we can capitalize on the little bit. It's obviously a strip that of aid. I really don't want you moving into over rough terrain, but it doesn't look like I have much of a choice. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be rough terrain regardless. If I jump, though, then I don't get the rough terrain, right? Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. I jump over here, strip this guy's of aid. You might not hit him, but you can at least do that. Okay, you did hit him. That's actually great. Elizabeth is now gone. If Ceramol could hit this guy with the direct hit with the PPC, that would be good news all around. 
Yeah, like right here might even do it. Medium laser wouldn't be bad either, but we'll see. Um, we do have enough to call on a called shot here. I'm going to do it. Torso, I'm going for We could go for the leg. Good chance of both of these. I like this. 80% for both. Let's try it. Big ol' whiff. We did destroy the left arm, though. Pilot did not get injured from that hit, though. And on a Jenner, I don't think there's anything important on the left arm anyway, so that might have been a waste. All right, can you hit him from here? You can. You don't have to move. Should you move? Arguably. Arguably. But I think no this time. Hit him with... Maybe the auto cannon. Orange missiles is only 65%, but you know what I'm going to call? Go for it. Not worth the long range missiles, I don't think. Big left on the auto cannons, but did destroy the right arm. Okay, so now he's armless. Not that, again, on the Jenner, arms don't matter. Probably should have got it for the legs. That probably would have been a better go for two there. But look at that. Commando's coming back, trying to help his friend. Okay, firing on Serumal. Serumal did not... Yeah, didn't brace, so he took a little more hits than I wanted to there. No injuries, though. Alright, Crease. I don't think you're going to be able to finish this guy off. That'd be crazy talk. Should definitely move. Go all the way over here. Maybe get a shot on the guy. But I think he's just going to move anyway, so maybe what we do is just reserve. Let him move first. That's exactly what he's doing. He looks like he's going to come over here and punch us. Yep, okay. Well now. Reese, if you wanted to punch him right back. Might not be terrible. DFA. What DFA is. Okay, so this ignores evasive. So it means our evasive would be gone. No, I think instead we get the Shadowhawk to come over here and punch them. I think that might be better. Because, yeah, that is a good chance of just wrecking him. Let's do that. Blue Foxy, go over here and punch this guy. There you go. So he's gone forever. Okay. Now, let's see if we can gradually strip away this guy. Um, how do we want to do this? Do we want to do this? This might... Well, it'll strip away some of his stuff. Probably not a hit, but... Simple laser. There's away a little bit of his evade. Need one of them to do that. That's exactly what's going to happen there. And maybe Blackjack goes over and just pummels him with everything. Right, so Venom Tactics. Don't do it yet, but... Um, let's see. Your evade by... I guess long range missiles will do. Short range missiles will do. Every, any kind of missile will do, really. Your two evade there, but not really going to work for me because I'm going the wrong direction. So here we go. Go over here. And then just long range missile this guy because that's all we can do. Not going to hit. No big deal. Oh, what do you know? We got a little bit of a hit. Okay, and then Venom. You come in over, like, here. Turn around. Oh, not quite. Turn around. I'm worried about being too close to be able to hit properly. I jump. I'm going to use up a lot of heat. Yeah. Yeah. Not in a good spot to be able to hit this guy the way I want to. Okay, well, come over here. And unfortunately, the heat's pretty bad, too. Kind of been edging it this whole time. And so only really two lasers and maybe an AC-5 can do this. Nope, not even an AC-5. Alright, well, hit him anyway. Okay, one of those hit. That's pretty good. Okay, so Grim's coming out with her... Coming out with her fire starter, I think it is. 
We gotta take out this commando pretty quick. We can stay pretty much where we are, though. We, if she comes to us, it's like... That's basically buying us a turn. Okay, so he has no more evade. Right, so... We don't want to move with Crease though. We want to move somebody else. He just went. Okay, that's gonna be bad. Yep, yep, Venom just took it on the front side there. Okay. So this guy just went. So if you come in, like, just one step forward, like, you might get a better chance to do PPC. Possibly. Actually, what is your chance right now? 65. All right. Kind of wish it showed us the ratios for each one of these. Like, if I step up a little bit, does that help me at all? I don't know. Doesn't look like that was to be a direct hit, though. If I come over here, it seems like he's just poking up over the edge. I don't know exactly what would help. Can't stand on these. I don't know, getting a point of evade is not terrible. But, okay, if I come up this way, I'm not sure being closer to PPC is a good idea. PPC is a sniping weapon. I try moving back. Oops. Back. Doing that and seeing if that does anything for me. That might be more direct. I have no idea. It's funny. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Did improve my PPC range. Okay, let's do it. Probably should have done a called shot, but it totally worked out. He got knocked on his ass, right? Yeah, there you go. That was a knockdown. Okay, I think that was like two injuries, so one more, and he's totally destroyed. Uh, so Crease is probably not going to be the one to do it, right? I mean, that seems unlikely. We could try it. Um, sure. Well, you know, it actually hit. Don't know if it hit the right thing, but it hit. Uh, Blue Foxy, you're gonna... All you do is turn and shoot this guy. Venom's the one taking the hits right now. We need you to hit basically everything here. So we're going to choose a similar torso here. Hit this guy with everything. There we go. So he should be dead. Yeah, he's dead. Alright, and then I think Venom basically just braces... There's no way he's going to be able to anything where he is, right? He could. He could, but it's basically just going to strip away. I'm evade. It's not really going to hit much. Yeah, we can only hit him with the auto cannons. Probably not worth it. So I think instead you just brace for it. That'll let you take some heat back. You can fire on him with full cannons next time. Sure enough, they're firing on Venom. We expected that. Why we braced. As long as they don't get a lucky headshot, we should be okay. Alright, I'm tempted to throw a crease in here to get some scouting, but we don't really need it. We know where they are. And we have line of sight on their minion, so let's take care of the minion first. If we can. Hmm, might not be able to. Okay, here we go. So I can jump, like, over here. If I don't get any line of sight on her mech, then that's okay. I basically just want line of sight on him and strip away his evade. That's fine. She's probably going to be satisfied with doing her long-range attacks, so let's just let her. Oh, he moved after that. I totally didn't remember the turn order. He's going to get two more points to evade, I think. A lot of hits on Venom there. He does have the armor to take it, but we should probably trade out who the main target is as possible. Alright. And jump here. Yeah, the thing is it's only long range moves. I feel to get like a straight shot on her. Yeah, from like right here it looks like. She might not have moved at all. 
She still has two points to evade there. I'm gonna try this. I would be able to do a called shot to ignore her evade right now. Um, this guy. Go for the legs. I know it's unlikely. Go for the legs. Okay. Did hit her, though. Like, all those hit. Alright, you could just do a long-range shot. That's not going to really help. I think you want to trade spots here. Yeah, you want to trade spots with Venom. Because he's been taking all the hits you haven't taken very much at all, so I think you just trade spots. Come over here. And you want to Vigilance here. And then attack this guy with everything. Probably not going to hit, but... Oh, that's nice. A couple of those did hit. And then Venom, you want to move. Because our, our deal is to go and take her out. I think you have the best chance of doing that, but you need to not be horrible right now. Okay, she's... Oh, going up top. Okay. Well, fortunately, we did brace. So, but the left arm got destroyed. That sucks. Like half our weaponry. But she overheated. She over did everything. That's good for us, but it's still really, really bad. Okay, so... Hmm. Let's see what we can do here. So, she has three points in evade right now. We need to strip those away as soon as possible, right? I think you come over here with your four points. And you open fire on her. Um, yeah, it's not going to hit. Don't worry about it. Yeah, that's fine. And a quick draw. Okay. Blue Foxy. You stay where you are, I think. You stay where you are. We definitely need to fire with you, though. There's no question about that. So that's not going to hit, so just do those two. Oh, you know, it did hit. Got a couple of hits there. Okay, she only has one tick of evasion now. Shadowhawk gets to move, but I'm less concerned about that. Oh, they're going after the Blackjack. Okay. Sadly, they're still focusing on his left side. We need to ameliorate that somehow. Okay, so you've got to go around like, this side and face her. If you change your facing, that means they won't keep focusing on that side. Be a hell of a lot of repairs there for you. Okay. Yeah, just open a fire with everything you got. Okay, that's pretty good. A couple of good hits. Destroyed a left torso, left arm. It's good. That plus the overheat, I'm hoping, means... Okay, so you're not going to move. You're going to stay right where you are. You're going to face this way. Oh, shoot. Can't hit her with everything, but... And here with the PPC. Can't do a called shot, but we'll just hope it works. There we go. Hit her in the leg. That's pretty good. Let's see what they do. Okay, she's guarded now. Going for Ceramol. Makes sense. He probably did the most damage to her. Okay, Foxy. This point, we have to move, right? She is guarded, so we're not going to be able to do anything unless we go up to her and punch her in the face, which seems pretty unlikely. Speaking of punching in the face, could come up to this guy and punch him in the face. Yeah, let's do that. Kind of unusual, but... Get to some evade. Close structure. Knocked away his evade anyway. Then Kreese can come over here. You know, we can't really focus on her right now. We just gotta do what works. And right now, that means taking out her minion. As much as we can, anyway. So two shots here. Okay, hit his leg. That's something. Dropped his evasion again. Okay, some shots on cheese, but that's okay. Grease can take it. Grease can take it. 
Ceramol, you probably don't have a direct line, so... Oh, you have to stay there, too. Yeah, you do. Because I jumped up. I was hoping for an advantage, but... I could fire, but it's going to be bad because of the heat. I think we just brace. We guard up. And then Venom tries to take... Yeah, I think... Get them focused on your right side, where you have more armor. And on your front, where of course you are more armored. And you try to hit this guy as much as possible here. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. One more injury and he's definitely not going to be waking up tomorrow. Okay, she did go for the blackjack. That sucks, but not too chubby. Okay, our turn. Um, since... Oh, hold on. No. I was gonna say, since he's right there, but he can't move yet. Okay, so you come over here. she brace? She's still braced, yeah. Okay, so we gotta go up to her and punch her. We can do that, but it's gonna take some time to get there. You come over here, and you shoot this guy again. One good hit, but the other one, not great. You're gonna, you're gonna punch here. He's totally gonna punch this guy. Ignores the evade. Oh, that sucks. Right arm destroyed. Okay. But the pilot didn't get injured there, so Crease is still okay. Still alright. Okay, we might have a good chance to. Yeah, it looks like he faces back to us. Not quite, but pretty close. Hit him with everything here. Um, tempted to try to knock him down. Maybe we do that. Not you, but you. Okay, his other leg's apparently out already. Let's go for... Or maybe I just can't see it. Maybe that's what it is. Okay, go for this. Oh, yeah. His leg's gone. His leg's gotta be gone. It's not gone. I thought for sure. I thought for sure it'd be gone. Alright, we can punch you, but it make, means face in the back to her, and I don't like that. Um, you, however, just open fire here, but that means staying where you are, and I don't like that. So, I think we'll move over this way. I think we'll put us behind him anyway, so that's probably not a bad idea. Yeah, there you go. Open fire here. I don't know, man. It's taking so long to whittle this guy down. Alright, well, we could jump up here. No, actually, we can't. Can't. Can't do it. We have to get close, but we can't actually get there. Alright, we'll move over here. Maybe we can get there, like, next turn. Jump up next to her and punch her. Remove the guard. But right now... Let's do this. Okay, destroy the heat sink. I mean, she's more likely to overheat. But she's pretty close to doing it right now, anyway. Okay. Thermal can take the hits. He's fine. She did not overheat. Alright, Kreese, you want to just punch this guy? I mean, you're right next to him. Melee, 30. Not going to do enough. Not going to do it. You just need to run. Over here, maybe. I think that puts you out of range. Trying to see if there's any way we can run that gets us a good shot on her. She is still guarded. I mean, this guy just needs to be finished off, but it's tough to do. Okay. Two lasers. Both of them hit. Slowly whittling away that armor, but yeah, guarded's really kind of our pain in the ass right now. Okay. You can hit this guy, right? We have an overheat warning here. Even with PPC. Uh, maybe the LRM too. Yeah, let's do the LRM as well. There we go. That took him out. Knew something was going to do it. Okay, just her now. 
We gotta get rid of that guard. We have a plan for it, but it's gonna take some time. In the meantime, you come over here. Keep shooting at her. Maybe keep her attention on you? Hmm, if you keep your attention on you, then maybe what you need to do instead is brace. Taking enough damage, thank you very much. It's my family heirloom we're messing with there. And then Blue Foxy... Can jump... Oh, you can't jump up there! We can come close, but we can't actually do it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Alright, well, just keep being behind her and shooting her. If she turns, I don't think she gets the benefit of Bulwark anymore. That's what we want her to do. We want her to turn. Or just take it. Yeah, she's flanked now. Doesn't have any armor back there. Fitted on her short range missiles. That's good. See what she does. Keeps firing on Ceramol. We just brace Ceramol. Well, I don't know. The PPC is nice, but I, maybe bracing is not a bad idea. We brace Ceramol. We make it so that he's the only one she can really target. And we've taken a couple of hits here. One Kreese is definitely going to have to go to the hospital, but he's not doing too bad. Both hits. And we're whittling away her armor, and she's got no armor on the backside, it looks like. The Ceramo, I think you just brace. Let your heat recover a little bit, just brace. Blue Foxy. Um, she's not going to turn towards you. If she does, I'll be really surprised. So, just go ahead and hit her. We do a called shot. See what we can do there. Um, we can do a decent called shot to her center torso back. I like it. Let's do it. There we go. That got her. Just about done. That took some time. If I remember right, it's just a matter of going to the the uh, going to the X on the map. Oh, we need to jump you. I think we can get everybody over there with a sprint, right? Oh, knocked you. Okay. Well, we'll just have to wait for that then. It's fine. Up for Mex are definitely going to need repairs. Not going to be easy, but doable. Let um, me just race here. And then come over here and we're good. We get all loaded in the Argo. We take off. We're all good to go. <laughs> I can't believe it really worked. That's good. Mission successful. Ta-da. Phew. That was a long one. Not expecting that to be that long. I think we get a cutscene at the end here of them taking off. All right, of course, we got a million one there. Uh, of course, we're going to need a couple of repairs. So, three repairs. Okay, so we're out of it for a little while. But that's okay. Um, I'm going to pick up part of the quick draw. And maybe the Shadowhawk? It is a medium class. Let's try it. Jenner's Light, right? Yeah, Jenner's Light. That's light. The locust is also light, so I'm not too wild about that. How about we pick up another... Maybe a large laser. Take a large laser. Like, we also got some AC-5. Um, Long-range missile 10. Medium laser. Machine gun. Short-range missile 4. Okay. Okay. We'll okay with that. I think we get a cutscene here. And we'll end the episode. As they take off from the dusty surface. Working in vacuum, man. Hate it every time. Each generation just sucks.
I know we've already seen that cutscene, but it just looks so pretty. I like seeing it again. So right, then we get the little cutscene here. We've already seen this. Basically, they announced it. Oh yeah, by the way, your your mysterious benefactor is in fact this woman right here, who we totally know from the tutorial. Um, I'll just breeze through this off camera. Thank you guys for watching. This has been BattleTech on PC Universe, your PC Universe 2. I'll see you guys next time.